Good morning. Today is Wednesday, November 10th, the memorial of St. Leo the Great. On behalf of St. Juliana Falconeri Catholic Church in Fullerton, California, welcome to those gathered here and those watching online. Today's Mass readings can be found on our parish website, stjulianachurch.org. We invite you to visit the parish website frequently for updates and for faith formation resources. Now we invite you to prayerfully participate in our liturgy as we welcome our celebrant, Father Michael Pontarelli. Let us begin our liturgy this morning with hymn number 603. Now thank we all our God. 603. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things has done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God his Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We've gathered together to celebrate the mysteries of the Holy Mass and to remember Pope St. Leo the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church, the one who met Attila at the gate and prevented the sack of Rome from the Huns and the Vandals, later times we call them Germans, He's also the one who um, accounted for the two natures of Christ being both divine and human at the Council of Chalcedon. Let us remember the times when we account the natures of Christ in our lives and allow him to guide us to thanksgiving for all that God has done. For the times we turn away in unbelief, we ask pardon and redirection. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo the Great, she may stand firm in your truth, and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Hear, O kings, and understand. Learn, you magistrates of the earth's expanse. Hearken, you who are in 
power over the multitude and lord it over the throngs of peoples. Because authority was given to you by the Lord and sovereignty by the Most High, who shall probe your works and scrutinize your counsels? Because though you were ministers of his kingdom, you judged not rightly and did not keep the law nor walk according to the will of God. Terribly and swiftly shall he come against you because judgment is stern for the exalted. For the lowly may be pardoned out of mercy, but the mighty shall be mightily put to the test. For the Lord of all shows no partiality, nor does he fear greatness, because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike. But for those in power, a rigorous scrutiny impends. To you, therefore, O princes, are my words addressed that you may learn wisdom and that you may not sin. For those who keep the holy precepts hallowed shall be found holy, and those learned in them will have ready a response. Desire, therefore, my words. Long for them, and you shall be instructed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Defend the lowly and the fatherless. Render justice to the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the lowly and the poor. From the hand of the wicked, deliver them. Rise up, O God, and bring justice to the earth. I said, you are gods, all of you sons of the Most High. Yet like men, you shall die and fall like any prince. Rise up, O God, and bring judgment to the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, the kingdom of God, excuse me. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, 10 lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice saying, Jesus, master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. One of them, realizing that he had been healed, returned glorifying God in a loud voice, and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. We might for a moment think all of this begging, whether it's the begging of the blind man or the begging of this um, leper, has really no place for us. We don't beg before God. Oh, nay, nay, nay. Yes, we do. We began the Mass with begging before God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And then we hear those great words, may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. May we worship God wholly, entirely, completely, 
May everything we do be aimed at worshiping our Lord for the good reason that we simply have to give thanks for all that he's given us. If not, we would be mean-spirited and rather selfish little beings, wouldn't we? For we must realize that what we have comes from God. What we leave behind is also God's. Therefore, we have to treat everything around us as the property of God. We are simply caretakers of it for a little bit. These lepers are unable to be with society in any of its parts. They couldn't go near the temple. They couldn't worship. But Jesus is making them whole, complete, entire. They have their entire being now able to be with, with community, including the community of worship. And only one comes back to worship. Only one returns to say thank you. May we be that one today and pause and say, thank you, God, for all the many good gifts that you've given us, for everything that you do and you continue to, go, to do for us. And may we extend that thanks to, back to God and to others as well, encouraging all people to give thanks to God for the gift of life, to give thanks to God for everything that comes to us. May we worship him without fear. Lord, have pity on us, for sometimes we are very selfish. God bless. Trusting in God's lasting goodness, let us bring before him our prayers and petitions for ourselves, for the world, and for Holy Church. For Holy Church, may the Lord continue to raise up missionary disciples from our midst to go and proclaim the good news of the kingdom to the ends of the earth. We pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit bless them with wisdom, counsel, and good judgment as they protect the dignity of all human life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. For all who are sick, may the Lord bring them comfort and healing of body and spirit. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here and everywhere in prayer today, may God continue to transform us by the power of his word. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, that the Lord may welcome them into his radiant eternal presence. For everyone for whom we've promised to pray. We pray to the Lord. Graciously hear all of our prayers, O Lord, and answer them in accordance with your will and our need. We make them to you in the name of Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer to you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer to you, fruits of the vines, works of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Our altar table is ready now. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and good of all his holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your holy name. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of St. Pope Leo the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. You teach her by his words of preaching, and you keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plene Sucele et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venet in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, and all who minister in your name. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your great mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Pope St. Leo the Great, Juliana, Peregrine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and using the words that Jesus taught us, together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Greet each other with the peace of Christ. Agnus Dei, cui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, cui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, cui toles peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the table of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Peter said to Jesus, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus replied, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. For those not gathered with us today, we offer this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. i 
Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that, firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go and glorify the Lord by the way we live our lives. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducedo, et spes nostra salve, a te clamamus, Exulis filieve, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum frontum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O claimants, O pia, O dulcis Virgo Maria. Gentile.